In this video, we'll learn to calculate the median and the mode of a set of quantities. We've looked at the mean and the range before. Now we'll focus on the median and the mode. As you can see here, median refers to the middle value. So putting them in order and finding the middle value. And mode is the most common value, the one that repeats itself most. So we'll start with the median of these values. So these are the scores out of 10 um, in a math test for a class. And what we're going to do to work out the median, we're just going to put them in order from the highest to the smallest uh, to the lowest or from the lowest to the highest. It doesn't really matter. I'll just go for the highest to the lowest. So I can see the highest one is eight and then I've got seven, there are two sevens. So I must make sure I write both of them. And we've got a six here, six, six and six and we've got a five and a five then a four then a three and then a zero so these are in order let's find the middle value the one that says right in the middle so crossing out both sides one each side And I can see there is a six. So this means that the median for this set of values is equal to six. Now let's look at these ones. So this is spending for a week for somebody. So we'll find the median of the spending. Again, putting them in order, the highest value out of all of these is the 25 so we'll write 25 and then we've got the 21 then we've got 18 pounds 50 then we've got the 17 15 pounds 10 and 14 finally so crossing them out both sides we've got these two values in the middle so what are we going to do now we're going to add them together and divide by two so 1850 add the 17 gives us 3550 and dividing this by two now gives us 17 pound 75 pence so this is the median for this set of quantities now the mode is the most common value the one that repeats itself most so if i have a look at these i've got two sevens but i've got one two three four sixes i've got two fives as well so i've got more sixes than I have fives or sevens. So for this case, the mode is equal to six as well, just like the median for this set. Now looking at this, is there any value that repeats itself? No, all of these are unique. They don't repeat themselves. So in this case, we haven't got a mode. So no mode. For this set of values so to summarize median we put them in order smallest to the largest or largest to the smallest and find the middle value if there is an odd number of values like we had here you can just easily find that spot it by crossing numbers out from both sides and that was a six if there are two numbers in the middle then we add them together and divide them by two just like we did in here when it comes to the mode, we're finding the number that repeats itself most. And that was six again here, because we had four lots of six. And sometimes there is no mode. So there is no number in the set that repeats itself. And in that case, we just write no mode. If there is no mode for a set of quantities, please don't write mode equals to zero. Because 
that can be a value in itself, just like we have it here. So if I write here mode equals to zero, that means there would be perhaps two zeros. So two of the days this person would spend zero pounds or three of the days or four of the days and so on. So please just write no mode if there is no mode.